it's a lovely 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 good afternoon to you today i want to share with you how to make organic um, fertilizer how to make organic fertilizer you see life is not hard life is not hard to be very honest life is very easy just like the way you breathe that is how life um, is if you are struggling with breathing then it means you're not healthy so as a farmer if you're struggling with farming meaning there's something wrong somewhere otherwise life um, in farming should be very easy as breathing uh, it should be very easy as drinking water that is how life ought to be but many of the times we complicate things ourselves because um, we don't do things the right way so I want to share with you how to make organic fertilizer and what to use to make organic um, fertilizer so number one you have to understand the source of energy energy comes from the sun to the plants then it comes to um, animals and other creatures when you eat a fruit it is actually balanced with different nutrients and now what you should understand is that um, that that as an that 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 plant for it to be healthy like that it gets the nutrients and the minerals from the soil and human beings we were actually made from the soil unless you're an atheist uh, but i believe um in creation so i believe in creation i don't know what you believe in if you believe there is nothing like maybe you can you, you can't scientifically prove atheism it is a belief because you can't prove it so anything that you cannot prove uh, then it is a belief system so as in for me i believe in creation so man was created from the soil and um there are nutrients that the human body needs which are can be sustained from the from the from the soil no wonder when we die we get back to the soil so i think i have a point there so now the best source of energy is from the sun which is in high quantity then trapped by the plants put in a form that human beings can benefit from it then we consume it and then we are um, uh, very very sound uh, in terms of um, being very healthy so now when you talk about making fertilizer fertilizer is a name that is actually used to um, to mean the food for plants so plants eat food in the name of fertilizer and that fertilizer can be either synthetic or uh, organic but now we're talking about organic fertilizer so the best fertilizer the best source of fertilizer the most clean kind of fertilizer is coming from plants so now there are plants that are heavily loaded with um, NPK and other trace elements those plants grow very fast how to know that this plant is actually um, very nutritious this plant is loaded with a lot of nutrients is to see the growth rate anything that grows very fast even in poor soils is a very uh, powerful fertilizer among the plants that actually can be used to make fertilizer is comfrey comfrey grows very fast you can be harvesting the leaves every two weeks look at how broad it is it is high in potassium calcium uh, it is high also in um, in uh, phosphorus and other trace elements because it has got a very deep root system then also yellow dock is high in, uh, in, 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 in key nutrients then we also have um, uh, what is this tithonia which is high in um, potassium and, and nitrogen and other trace elements and these plants can be seen everywhere and you can be easily be grown you can even add lemongrass to this so now these are the plants like even um, you talk about sun hemp cowpeas uh, you talk about um, velvet beans uh, these plants can be used to make organic fertilizer so there are two ways you can make organic fertilizer there's a solid way and also the or, um, the was this um, um, the liquid way so liquid fertilizer works super fast it's like you see you get an orange you squeeze it the juice gets into the system of the body faster without even a digestion so that is how liquid fertilizer works so now what you do is you get these leaves you put them in a drum like this so a bulky of 50 kg is enough in a drum like this for making a um, liquid uh, fertilizer then now there are other plants to make your fertilizer more uh, nutritious to make your fertilizer more disease resistant so that your crops can resist diseases you have to add the indigenous plants that are more healthy indigenous plants that have got very deep root system which bring nutrients to their leaves which you cannot find in these other crops so what you do is you get like plants like mulberry you can see how healthy the leaves are you can get other um, wild plants 
that have got very deep root systems and very healthy leaves you get them now what you do is you get all these leaves using a ratio uh, of uh, one to um, one to one to one to seven meaning the bigger portion is for these nutrients that are needed in bigger uh, portions then the smaller ones are actually needed in um, these other trace elements just get a few leaves and put them then in this drum they are going to be in here for 14 days after 14 days they would have decomposed then everything would have melted come to liquid and the only things that are going to remain is just fiber and that fiber is actually what you use um, you, you 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 can remove it you can even sieve it if you are putting in a fitigation or if you are applying manually um, then that is going to be well balanced fertilizer and to enhance the composition you can put a liter of molasses which becomes energy for the microorganisms but at the same time also molasses is an indirect fertilizer which boosts uh, organic um, uh, organic uh, uh, living organisms in the soil to to make sure they are they are more active so what am i saying you can make your own fertilizer and this fertilizer works for anything for flowering plants for growth for nutritional um for new uh, for us is a uh, uh, disease resistance it is a multi-purpose you can use it on maize bananas you can use it on flowers you can use it on anything the only hard thing is people want sophisticated things for nothing these things they're simple but they work perfectly so if you are suffering as a farmer you are struggling with the cost of inputs this is the way that you can go you can grow comfrey like at organic farm seven you don't buy fertilizer we grow comfrey we grow tithonia we grow molinga uh, we grow alfalfa we grow um yellow dog and we use these things to make our our, our liquid uh, fertilizer no wonder i have seen our peaches are very tasty you have seen our guavas are very tasty even our our our, our raspberries are very tasty the taste is out of this world because of the nutrients that we actually feed our plants with so if you are um, you want some comfrey you can let us know we can we can send to you uh, if you want some uh, tithonia we can also help with those and you plant them once and you'll be harvesting for life this is the most powerful way to make organic fertilizer more affordable more sustainable but at the same time very very climatic smart so having said that i'm wishing you nothing but the best life let me show you um some um some granadillas you see how they are performing so that you can get to see that actually you can grow anything that you want organically so if you can see um these weeds also can be added to the to the fertilizer this also the flowers of marigold they can add disease resistance and um, as well as um, these uh, passion fruits you can see how they are creeping here um, they have already started fruiting and um, these also um, as a result of organic um, organic farming you see you can do quite a lot with organic farming just let we restrict ourselves so much we think in 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 boxes we don't think outside the box we don't want to think outside the box look at how these um, mangoes are growing organically We've, we also incorporated um, herbs around here and um, also we have these mangoes very small but um, they are fruiting the point is you can literally grow anything organically and we also even add aloe vera in uh, in our organic um, fertilizer we, we also add aloe vera because it has got antifungal properties but it so it also contains trace elements and it's very very um powerful part of our fertilizer formation azaria day So did up on number so what he's saying actually i was asking him what the use of um, uh, aloe vera then he says you use it on the soil because it has got uh, uh, antibacterial properties it's good for healing so have a great day and uh, wishing you nothing but uh, an organic lovely afternoon